Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to give you five stocks which are set to explode over the next five to 10 years. Now guys, I own four of the five stocks that I'm gonna give you today and I'll tell you which ones I own as we come across them. But I threw in that fifth one because it's it's such a great find and I think it's a, it's a perfect buy. All right guys, let's jump into it. Let's look at my top five stocks that I think are gonna explode in the next few years right now. Okay guys, so companies that are investing heavily in major growth sectors like artificial intelligence, cloud computing, semiconductors, fintech, those are the places that I'm looking to see growth right now because those are the sectors that are exploding. That's where I've picked these five stocks from. Now, there's two ways that you can invest, guys. You can either invest through index funds and investing in those broad market index funds like those tracking the S&P 500 offers you low fee access to 500 of America's largest companies can be a sensible choice for investors that are looking for broad exposure, low risk. On the other hand, you can invest in individual stocks. So if you're looking for higher returns, selecting those promising individual stocks can be a lot more rewarding in the long term. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five high potential growth stocks to consider, two of which are in the Magnificent Seven. Let's start with one of those, and that is Amazon, tickers A-M-Z-N. Amazon needs no introduction, right? This is a massive company with massive success. Amazon operates in various sectors, including e-commerce, cloud computing through their AWS or Amazon Web Services, and retail through Zappos. AWS, their cloud computing service, holds a dominant market share in cloud computing with customer growth of 31% year over year as of last year. Their revenue increased by 10% year over year. Their operating cash flow surged by 75% in the latest quarter, and they've been heavily investing in AI positioning the company for future growth. And I think they have an attractive valuation. Their forward-looking price to earnings or PE ratio is 32, which is significantly lower than their five-year average of 54, making it a potentially undervalued growth stock. Now that's insane guys, and I know a lot of you are like, how is Amazon undervalued? But I think it is. If you look at the last five years, this is the best price we've seen. It's, it's incredible. Okay, maybe not the best price we've seen, but it's a good price. All right, number two, and guys, by the way, I own, I'm gonna give you the four stocks that I own, and then the last one is the bonus stock that I do not own, but I think it's a great buy. All right, so I own Amazon, I own Microsoft, MSFT is the ticker. Microsoft has a wide array of successful products, including Office, Azure, which is their cloud computing software, Xbox, Windows, Microsoft's massive investment in OpenAI, which is the ChatGPT creator, is driving AI integration across their services, giving it a solid foothold in the AI space, and they have a solid valuation. Their current forward-looking PE ratio is 33, which is close to its five-year average of 30, indicating a reasonable value for long-term growth investors. All right, so we've got Amazon, we've got Microsoft, both of those, of course, being in the Magnificent Seven. Let's look at number three, which is PayPal, ticker PYPL. PayPal is a major player in the fintech industry, which is poised for significant growth. The company serves 426 million accounts and facilitates 25 billion transactions annually. Their year-over-year -year revenue growth is 8%, with a payment volume being up 11%. PayPal's recent leadership changes, their, leader, their leaner operations, their strong balance sheets, all these things improve their future prospects. They've got new features like the Fast Lane and Cash Pass reward programs. Cash Pass, that's hard to say, Cash Pass, all right? Those provide additional growth avenues. PayPal's PE ratio is 16, which is below its five-year average of 21, which is signaling a potential buying opportunity. All right, so Amazon, Microsoft, PayPal. Number four, Viva Systems. The ticker is V-E-E-V. -E -E 
Viva Systems offers cloud-based solutions primarily to the life sciences sector, working with major pharmaceutical companies like Moderna and Eli Lilly. The company's subscription services, which grew by 19% year over year, offer predictable recurring revenue, which is a key advantage. Viva holds billions in cash and they have no debt, providing flexibility for future growth and acquisitions. Their PE ratio is 34, which is significantly below its five-year average of 50, suggesting the stock is, again, attractively priced. And now I got to give you that bonus stock, which actually I don't own any of this, but I ran across it and thought, man, this is a fantastic buy. And that is iShares Semiconductor ETF. The ticker is SOXX. And yes, it's an ETF. The iShares Semiconductor ETF is a, is in a stock. It's an exchange traded fund, but it offers exposure to 30 semiconductor companies. And these semiconductors are crucial guys for industries like AI, cloud computing, data centers, smartphones. The ETF's largest holdings include companies like Nvidia, Broadcom, Advanced Micro Devices or AMD, Applied Materials, Qualcomm. And with global dependency on semiconductors rising, this ETF offers diversified access to a sector that's poised for long-term growth. So all five of these investments, guys, Amazon, Microsoft, PayPal, Viva Systems, and iShares Semiconductor ETF, all of these offer strong potential for growth in the coming years and in the coming decades. And while they may not deliver immediate returns, investors who purchase these assets now are likely to see substantial gains over the next five to 10 years. So for those, of, for those of you that want a little bit less risky approach, a broad market index fund remains an ex excellent choice for building wealth over time. All right, guys, let me know which of those five is your favorite down in the comments below. Like this video, it really does help out the channel. I appreciate all the support. And subscribe, guys, because every week I'm buying a stock and I'm posting a video telling you which stock I'm buying every week. I usually post the videos on Monday. Right now I've been posting them on Monday night. So check those out. And um, every day I'm posting a video about something in the world of stocks. So um, stay tuned guys for all those. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Take it easy guys and peace.